What's going on guys, I'm Wolf, and today I'm bringing you a re requested video for Radiation Island. People were wanting to know how do you get to a military base on the island, um, and what you can find in on the military base. Well, first off, here we go. Um, by killing zombies, uh, you can actually find guns, pistols, rifles, swords, uh, uh, pickaxes, and stuff like that. So a lot of the stuff in my inventory, you'll see here really quickly, uh, are stuff that I picked up off of zombies. The clothes that I wear, stuff I picked up off of zombies, and uh, they're actually very ruined right now, so I'm going to have to replace them all. But uh, that's how you get your equipment. You can also find them in crates and stuff. A lot of the stuff you can find on the base are in crates. Uh, tools, uh, food, materials. So when you're going around, when you actually find this base, I'll tell you where it is. When you actually find this base, make sure that you have weapons, that you have armor, that you have everything that you need to make sure that you survive radioactive pills, medical pills, and stuff like that, and food, because you're definitely going to need food. Uh, there's tons and tons of zombies on this base, and uh, you're going to need a lot of stuff to help you out when you're doing this. So basically, when you kill a zombie, it drops loot, and when you what is in that loot depends on the zombie bullets, uh, 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 anything really, uh, some of them have, uh, not, none of them have any notebooks, but, uh, or pages, but, so yeah, just basically kill as many zombies as you can along the way, but don't draw attention too much, because then you'll get screwed over, and then, uh, uh, yeah, the biggest problem with the game is that when you're going into a base, there you have almost no ammunition for your rifles. And when you go in and attack, you're going to run out of ammo, and now you're going to be stuck with a sword. I'm using the sword right now because I don't want to use my ammo, but later on you'll see me use the gun, and I'll pick up the ammo that they drop here. I have to drop off some of my own stuff. The other problem, big problem is space in your inventory. Uh, you can run out really, really quick, and really, it's it's crucial that you have what you need in that bag. So here you, you, you notice I was like, screw it, I'm just going to kill this guy. The gun is actually very, very useful against uh, zombies, uh, uh, tigers. Uh, tigers are bastards. They're quick and fast, and there's so many of them. Uh, bears and wolves. It, it's, it's a gun. It'll kill whatever you shoot at it. So, uh, basically, like, here you go. You'll open up this crate. I picked up a lot of the stuff already going through. Uh, there are some special items that you can find on the military base, like titanium tools. Uh, they're the things that I showed you guys earlier in the video. Um, they're the blue outline tools, like, uh, pickaxe, uh, stone axe, uh, well, now it's a titanium axe. Uh, so basically, you can find those in these kinds of boxes. I was just going through those earlier in the game, and, um, that's where you can find it. And, uh, sometimes the zombies are really stupid. I'll give you a hint. If you climb up some stairs... Sometimes the zombies don't follow you. Like, in that building right there, they won't follow you. And this is what happens when you leave the base. Look at how many zombies I had on here. I mean, that's ridiculous. It is a horde. But luckily, if you get out of the radioactive zone of the base, they will stop following you. Like, once you, like, right here, you'll see. I'll get out of this, like, patchy, and then it turns all colorful again. And then I'll turn around, and we're starting to head back. So that's basically all you have to do is just run away from zombies. So guys, that's all. That's about all I've got for you guys about the base so far. I'm still trying to beat the game to get to multiplayer, and uh, I'll see you guys later on.